All right, in the second video with the weird glare again, um, we're gonna now do histogram. So as you can see, I already have my exam scores already put in from my notes, so that's golden. All I wanna do now is do a histogram. So I go graph and I go histogram. Okay, just like we did with dot plots, we wanna select the column where our data is and we know we selected it when it pops up over here. Okay, now there are lots of options and one of the options we're gonna play with in just a minute is this bins. Bins mean rectangles. So if we wanna change the width of our rectangles, this is where we would type it in and I'm gonna do that in just a second. But first I'm just gonna hit compute and see what it gives me right now. All right, awesome. So what this is doing is it's actually making bins. You can see that they're all 10 apart. So this is the scores from 50 to 60, 60 to 70, 70 to 80, on and on and on. Okay, and as you can see, we have the tallest peak between 80 and 89. Now, if you remember in our dot plot, we had some gaps, right? And we had some clusters. So here's our clusters, our clusters of data, similar to our dot plot, right? This is our cluster, these two tall bars, but I'm not seeing any gaps, okay? So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna try another thing. We're gonna go to option and edit. And all we're gonna do now is we're gonna change the bin width. And let's change that bin width, hello, to five. Okay, now I'm gonna hit compute. Oh, now we see the gaps, okay? Again, we can see the cluster of data is still happening right in here, okay? But I'm seeing those gaps now that we were seeing in the dot plots, okay? So if you read my notes, you'll see that you can just use um, the default feature in StatCrunch, but sometimes it's better to kind of play around with the bin width and see what happens. So now we can answer the questions that are in our notes that have to do with clustering and gaps. So remember, we didn't see any gaps when it was set at 10 as the bid width, but now when we adjusted it to five, we can see those gaps. All right, um, and you can play with, you just can just play around and do, do different things. So if you wanted to, you could also go, so I'll just show you a different one. Um, if you wanted to, you can change it to um, two. I mean, you can make the bin width two. Whoa. Now you're probably wondering what happened there. Well, what it's saying is that for every two scores, or I should say like 50 to 52, 52 to 54, 54 to 56, it's creating bars. So that's why we're seeing lots and lots and lots of bars. Okay. So it's just going to depend on your data and what you think is more appropriate. I think this is a little excessive. I think sort of the best fit, if you will, is to go back to that group of five. But again, don't be afraid to play around with the bin width and see what you're getting. All right, good luck using StatCrunch to graph histograms.